And like I promised to you, it's that time where I introduce my participants. On table number one, here we go. My name is Kushal K. I'm from Srivani Public School and I'm 14 years of age. Okay, the young Polite then introduce yourself. Uh, so I'm Anakha K. Babu from St. Paul's English School mm -hmm. and I study in class 8. And to my final participant, go on. My name is Tanmayi Archie. I'm from Srivani Public School. Okay. I'm studying in 7th grade. Okay. Now that all of us, including you at home, are on the TV game show module, the next part that I need you all to do is click the play button. There's a blue color play button there. And we are rolled in for the countdown. And while the countdown happens, for the ones that are not initiated, let me rephrase this for you and re-explain my rules. Rules are very simple. You're going to get four rounds. And each of the rounds has got three other games that come along with it. Okay? Every game gives you a point for getting it right. You need to give me a desired result based on the integers that I'm going to show you. There are a couple of or all four operators that will be available, but that is based on the game. It's game to game and it will change. The operators are plus, minus, division and? Multiplication. Thank you very much. Multiplication. So these operators may not be available for all games. Okay. Some games you might just have plus and minus available or some games it might just be just division and addition and subtraction that comes along. So use the operators wisely and give me the desired result. Our four rounds include integers, decimals, fractions, and algebra. Well done. Algebra. These are the four rounds that are available today. You've watched an episode before? No. Oh, you haven't. Okay. So, but you've taken time to understand how this works, right? So, you all know what the gameplay is. What you're going to do is ensure that you get the desired result and in good time. That becomes very important. Okay? Yes. Time is not of the essence for now. But in the overall scheme of things, it could just happen that two of you are tied for the first place or three of you are tied for the first place. And the time that you've taken, the average time over those that many games counts to decide who our winner is. So just have that thought at the back of your mind that time is also of the essence. For you guys at home, time is of course of the essence, but just make sure you keep getting those games right and try and solve these problems with as different possibilities as you can because we might find you lucky, choose you out of a lucky draw and give you a prize for it. So please make sure you get every game right because every game counts for you at home. Now that we are at round number one, this is Integers, three games to go. Best of luck to you guys. Do you have any doubts? No. No, no doubts? No. All of you are confident. Best of luck at home, best of luck. And uh, if you want help at home, get your mum, dad, grandfather, grandmother, whoever else is with you at home, get them seated next to you. Or if you're during a math tuition class right now, tell your tuition teacher that we can actually do math online for the next half an hour and take part in this game. That's the best way of avoiding class, if I may say so myself. But we will move on. Best of luck to you guys. And we begin our action with round one, game one of integers. Best of luck, you guys. 60 seconds of time. 60 seconds of time is all you get at home, too. So, best of luck. Game one. Here we go. Here comes the game for you. The expected result or the desired result is the number three. You've got uh, three different integers and all four operators available to you. So, it's a matter of figuring out what you're going to do. Remember, there's a... Oh, well done, Anaga. Well done, Kushal. Almost there. Tanmay, you remember, you have all the operators. Okay, take your time. Take your time and get it right. Don't worry. And while they are at it, uh, Anaga, quick doubt. You finish fastest. Uh, what was the thinking this time? Uh, I was just thinking, like... I shouldn't be thinking of all the operators. I just needed to um, look at the numbers uh -huh. and find out a way to get just to figure it them. out without being distracted yeah. by the operators. Okay, well done. That's a nice way of uh, thinking of things. And we will just wait for the last three, two, one. Oh, time's out. Time's out. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, Anaga, you were the fastest. So please explain to me what you did. Um. So first, I subtracted uh, three from nine. Mm hmm. Nine minus three. Yeah. 
and uh, I divided six, six by divided two. by two. That's what I was telling you, Anagar. You got all the operators available. Uh, all good. Yes, sir. Okay. Game number two. Best of luck. Game number two. Best of luck at home. And here we go. Uh, one sec. Just yeah. You need to click the X button on the time expired. Oh, lovely. And here comes game number two. For everyone, the expected result or the desired result that I need of you is the number twenty-one. You've got three integers there. You've got all four operators. So, oh, fast. From what I read from here, it's six seconds. Great job. Ten seconds, Anaga. Well done. Take your time. Get it right, Tanmay. Almost there. Lovely. Lovely. Please remember, it's okay if you sacrifice speed. Speed is not of the essence right now. In the overall scheme of things, it makes a difference. But right now, and concentrate on getting it right. Really fast in six seconds. So, explain to me what you did. So first, I subtracted eight from eighteen. Eight from eighteen. That's eighteen minus eight. eight. We get ten, uh -huh. and then added eleven plus three. Got twenty-one. That's pretty much what you did. Did you try another method? No. No. You're, all three of them uh, stuck to the same method. Uh, I want to quickly take a look at what are the other possibilities available. There are eight different ways of solving the same problem, right? And that's the beauty of numbers. V. When you go to the practice session. Not in during the game time, but during the practice session, you get possibilities available for you that you can utilize otherwise to learn newer ways of solving the same problem. That is one side of the story. The other side of the story is if you give us interesting possibilities that you have utilized online, we will give you a prize. So ensure you're cracking this and cracking this well. Moving on to game number three, round number one coming there up for you on your screens. The expected result is the number two. They have four integers, all four operators available. And while they are working at this, it is time. It is time for me to take a quick break. On the other side, let's see what they did and also round one scores. You're watching Numbers B on Sri Shankara TV. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching Numbers B. We were at the end of Game 3, Round 1. Let's take a quick look at what happened there and we will move on with our scores. Okay then. Anaga, you were the first one to get that right and both of you timed out on it. So, Anaga, if you can explain to me what you did there. Um, I divided uh, 6 with 3. 6 divided by 3. And I uh, then 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5. 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2, 4 minus, minus two, 2 would have still given you the same answer. Uh, almost there, Tanvi. I think you undid that. Somewhere you did one undo there. But perfectly all right. Let's just go on to my next round. Before that, let's take a look at the round 1 scoreboard. Very, very early days, but this is how it looks. Anaga got 3 right, Kushal got 2, and Tanmay got 1. But uh, I'm very impressed with the fact that all of you have this under 20 seconds. Okay? Very, very nice average time. Continue with that average time. Don't be in a hurry to get too fast because that's where errors start creeping in. Try and stick to the fact that you're being a little slow. Perfectly okay. But get those answers right. All good? Best of luck at home. Best of luck to you guys. Round number two, game number one. Coming up for you on your screen. Okay, 4.725 is what I require of you. You've got three different decimals there. Ensure... Really? That's done. The game is done, Anaga. Why were you in a hurry? Eight seconds. That's all that was eclipsed. You could have finished the 52 seconds. Okay. Tanmay and uh, Kujal, well done. Uh, but Tanmay, I, went, I saw you go first on this. So explain to me what you did. First, I subtracted 6.1 from 9.7. 9.7 minus 6.1. And then you... Added, added. 3.6 and 1.125. Well done. What I didn't get about you, you're seeing 9 on one side and you're seeing 4 on the other side. Or was it 5 on the other side? 6.1 minus 1.17. That's what you did, right? Or did you add? I added everything. Oh, you just added everything. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sometimes that happens in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Like I said, take your time. I hope you're not in a hurry at home. Not worth being in a hurry. You want a prize? Take your time. Get it right. Okay. We go on to game number two. Game number two coming up for you guys on your screen. Let's go. 
25.433 is the desired result. You've got three decimals there. And almost, oh, well done, Kushal, fast. And I got almost there. Then my is still working. Okay. And she's also almost there. While Tanmay almost finishes, Anaga, I have a doubt for you this time. He went rapid fire, right? And he just finished it. You went almost rapid fire with him, but you stalled just before that last operation. Why? Oh, yeah. I just, I just w didn't want to get some ridiculous answer which did not at all match with the desired <laughs> Okay. So you said, let's take a step back and be and a little cautious. Think, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. I guess you learn, and you're the type that learns from mistakes fast. That's Thank a live you. example I've had. It's a good, it's a good way to be. And then my peaceful, calm, relaxed, and you got it right. Well done. Well done, all three of you. But Kushal, you went first, so tell me what you did. Sir, first I subtracted 5.1 from 13.2. Mm -hmm. 13 minus 5.1. Okay. Then added those two. Simple and easy. You worked it out. And I will go to the last game. Game number three coming up for you. Round number two. Best of luck at home. Here we go. 2.117 is the desired result. Four different decimals. Only two operators available. Use it. Uh, just, uh, just try again. No, because the clock is working for me. Yeah, oh. there. There it goes. I think you need a couple of undos. <laughs> take your time guys take your time there's a whole of a half a minute left oh kushal fast well done tanmay and anagar little bit of redoing happening here but that's okay i mean when there is an option of redo why not use it wisely as long as you're ensuring that you get the desired result 15 seconds still remaining oh. why would you jump and she has 11 seconds still remaining. She just went for it too. Uh, and the worst part is, I'm not even pushing you guys to finish. So don't be in a hurry, okay? Try and figure this out. Kushal, your turn. So first I subtracted 15.25 from 16.4. 16.4 uh, 16 minus 15.25. Well done. Then I, I did 11.6 minus 8.33. 11.6 minus 8.33. And then added, uh -huh, no. 3.267 minus 1.15. 1.15. Okay. Just in case this hasn't happened so far on this episode, but uh, your peers, if I may say, from other schools have a tendency of forgetting their own steps. Right? Because they would have got the smiley on the screen saying that they have uh, solved the problem successfully, but then they forget the steps that they utilize to get there. The beauty of numbers B is that it captures your step by step action. So below your answer, there will be a step by step display of what you've gone through. So in case there's a confusion in your mind while explaining to me, okay, just take a look at that so you know what exactly you did. Okay, 60 seconds of time, three games available, make sure you get them right. Take all 59.5 seconds, perfectly all right. Okay, don't let that time expired uh, pop up come up. Just before that, if you finish, is also perfectly all right. Just make sure you get it right. Same goes for you guys. Make sure you get it right. And here we go. Game number one coming up for you on round number three. The desired result is five by eight. And this is going to be fun. Okay, not really fun for me. Tanmay, you can still make it fun for me. Will she? Absolutely not. All three of them have decided not to make it fun for me. Uh, currently, are not my favorite people. Uh, but still, fact remains, all three of you got it right. And that was really fast, Kushal and Anaga. Uh, 56 seconds and 56 uh, six seconds remaining. That would mean you all took only four seconds. The exact time would be three point something change. But overall scheme of things, it's four seconds. Good job on that. Can I have Kushal explain to me what you did? So I added both the numbers. You saw two fractions and decided best when they are together. Right? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, why did you take a little more time? I just wanted to reconfirm. Reconfirm, okay. Uh, your reconfirmation happened when you asked him the doubt. Oh, uh, no, I didn't ask him a doubt. I okay. just said same time because both of us. Oh, same, same time. time. Okay. Oh, now you're getting competitive. I'm liking this. Okay. Moving on. Game number two, round number three, coming up for you on your screen. Three fractions, one desired result is 16 by three. Careful. 
distractions have a tendency to play a bad game. So be careful. I am hoping you don't have the same effect at home. See, I told you. 38 seconds left. Why would you be in a hurry? Uh, don't do this at home. It's almost like a statutory warning that is required. Take the whole 60 seconds if it has to be that. Ensure you get it right. It's very, very important, guys. Get it right. Uh, there are another 20-odd seconds left for both uh, Kushal and Tanmay. Are you staring at the smiley wanting to punch it? Or is that, are you staring at your working on what you did? Yeah, I'm staring at my work. You're, you're trying to figure out what you did. Okay. Uh, there, uh, last five, four, three, two. Oh, just in time. Just in time. All you needed to do was perhaps to add it and you would have got there. Yeah. Why? Sometimes being overcautious also is not a good thing. Okay. Good job, Kushal. Explain. So, first I subtracted 7 by 6 from 19 by 6. Okay. 19 by 6 minus, minus 7. 7 by 6. Then I added both these numbers. You were there. Just had to press one button mm. and you had sorted. Don't be too cautious. Also, also okay, Tanmay, okay. you need to finish the game because the clock keeps ticking down. Ma'am, where did you go off? Uh, actually, I did what he did in the first part I, to it. Yeah, I undid it later. Okay. I did that, but then I don't know. I <laughs> then you just uh, went wrong. Okay, that's okay. Best of luck to everyone at home. Game number three, round number three coming up for you on your screen. Let's play. 13 by 4 is the desired result. You've got four fractions available there. Lots and lots and lots of time. Are you sure, ma'am? Okay. Ah, this is the beauty of fractions. You get one operator wrong, the whole thing goes haywire for you and you need to do it all over again. So, this is just hoping that you don't need to do things all over again and making sure that you get it right the first time, but within a stipulated time of 60 seconds, of which there's only 20 seconds remaining for all three. There it goes, the countdown into the last 10 seconds. Last 5 seconds. Here comes the pressure. Ah, time expired for two of them. Kushal got the pressure and uh, he made sure that he's not getting it right. But right now, let me quickly take a look at the solution, the possibilities of it. 90 different available possibilities. Did you try? Okay, these are the top five, of course, and these are not ranked in any particular order. It's just 90 of them. Uh, any any of these look familiar to you guys? Any, any of these that you tried? No. Okay. These are the possible solutions, of course. Let's just uh, go on to looking at the scores because you can take a look at it once you go back home and practice on numbers be.in. Uh, take a look at the round three scoreboard. Kushal gets two right. Anaga got only one right. Tanmay also got one right. But Anaga, the one game that you got was in real good time. That's four seconds. Overall scheme of things that helps. But you also need to remember, because you only got one right, he is in the lead with two of those right. But to look at the overall scoreboard, that will happen after the break. Let me take a quick break and on the other side, scores and that last round to go. And that last round is going to decide who our champion is. Don't go anywhere you're watching Numbers B. We'll be right back. One round to go, one round to decide. Who is going to be our Numbers B champion here today? We are back with round number four, but before I go on to round number four, it's time for me to take a look at the overall scoreboard. Here comes the overall scoreboard for you on your screen. This is Kushal with seven, Anaga with five, Tanmay with four. But the beauty of Tanmay reaching four is that the last game, which has got three games, last round, which has got three games remaining, anything can happen, okay? Just imagine the scenario, Tanmay, where uh, Kushal is, gets inundated with pressure and decides that he can't score any of them right, okay? So that means he scores a zero. Anaga is too busy staring at those smileys 
so she gets a little confused and she says oh mistake 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 okay she gets everything wrong you on the other hand solve all three and you get seven and you tie with kushal but your overall score is amazing uh, overall average time is amazing so you win okay i'm just painting a scenario for you it's a possibility okay i may not be a great suits here but these things can happen there have been six sixes in an over hit before so you never know what happens when but irrespective, best of luck to all three of you. Just get started. One last round to go. Round number four coming up for you guys. Here we go. This is Algebra. Best of luck. Game number one, round number four coming up for you on your screen. Let's go. Value of X. Are you sure, Anaga? No. Take your time, take your time. What did you do? You were in a hurry. 40 seconds left. He did it way faster. Thank God you didn't concentrate on him. Just stuck to getting it right. Well done. Don't worry. Two more problems are there. He can still make a mistake. He is still human. So he <laughs> might still make a mistake. But that's not what I wish for you. I hope you do get all three right. But let's go on to game number two. But before that... Quickly, want to tell me what you did? So, I took the value of x as 3. Okay. So, that value will become 9. Uh -huh. And then 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3. Anaga, you did the value of x as 1. Yeah. So, you got 3 and 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. You took the value of x as 2. Which that I did. It, and undid. And un that, you did that in the beginning. Yeah, yeah and then I undid. And undid it. But she, I think, went ahead with the value of x as 2. Yeah, she did. And that's why the confusion came in. Okay. Game number 2. Best of luck. Here we go. Ha! Huh. This requires a little more complications attached to it. So, requires you to think a little harder, analyze better, and ensure you get it right. And the beauty of analyzing here is the fact that numbers B requires you to at least play it for 100 minutes overall time. And within those 100 minutes, you, you are bound to start doing better. This is not something I'm faffing about. This is proven. They have done surveys in the past and we have actually have results to prove that fact. So work with numbers B for 100 minutes or more and check those results out where your math ability improves. Okay, back to last 18 seconds. A uh, lot of head scratching happening. A uh, lot of uh, confusion on people's faces. And that's the last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And that's time, 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 time. What did you guys do? What did, You took the X value as six and three. Uh, you it. undid, so I couldn't see your values. Uh, X, as y, X as five and Y as four. Okay, quick look at the possibilities, please. X as five and Y as three would have given you this possibility where it is equal to six. Okay, 5 and 4. Oh, you went on 4. You should have tried 3. Uh, what were the values you entered? Uh, I took 5 and 2 in the beginning, actually. 2. Okay, okay. But uh, any particular reason all of you went on X being 5? Just randomly? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to understand the psyche behind why all of them went on 5. Uh, last game, and this game can actually be still a decider, is if you get it wrong, she gets it right. Could still be shaky ground, so just be careful on that. Uh, but for you at home, I hope you've been getting those games right. Get those games in, get yourself registered so that we can give you prizes. But try and work it as interesting as you can. That's a side request that I have of you guys. But moving on to my last game, best of luck to you guys. Game number three, round number four. Best of luck. Here we go. The desired result is the number 15. Okay. No, no, don't get distracted, Kushal. Don't get distracted. Working on it. 45 seconds. Hmm. Almost there, Anaga. Tanmay also almost there, but you just need to be careful. This is getting interesting. Go on, go on, go on. Last 15 seconds. What are you going to do?
That X can be confusing. It looks so simple. Ouch, 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 ouch. Time's expired for all of them. I hope time is not expired for you because if time is expired for you, that either means you're distracted or not paying enough attention or you actually got it wrong. And that means no prizes, no prizes coming your way if you get it wrong. You need to get, ensure that you get it right. Can I just have you guys click on the X button on the time expired uh, pop-up, please? And uh, let's take a look at the possibilities. X is equal to 3. If X is equal to 3, that would become uh, 12, 3, and 6. And workable from there, I presume? Which is uh, 12 minus 3 will be... How much? Uh, yeah, let's do that, right? X is equal to 3. Uh, 12 minus 3... 9 plus 6. Ah, <laughs> I like her expression. Nice expression. Well, what did you try? You tried 2. What did you try? Did you so try? I tried 3 to 4 varieties. And, and still didn't manage it. Did you try the number 3? Sir, no. No, not number 3. Did you? I did. Yeah, because I remember seeing, to, uh, the uh, at least remember seeing 3 on one side. Okay. Uh, it's just that it requires a little bit of... Uh, Playing around with numbers, and numbers can be tricky as they come. But that means, despite a not so acceptable performance on the last round, let's take a look at the round scores. Ah, oh, Kushal on one, Anaga on one, and Tanmai on zero. The last round has not been satisfactory. You all will have to invite your parents for a meeting with me for performing so badly. If I was your teacher, I would have told you that. But I can't do that. I'm on a game show. Uh, good try, though. Good try, all of you. I hope that has not been the case with you guys because uh, it's you're sitting at home. There's no pressure. These kids have pressure. 60 seconds of time which you also get. But there is me who's constantly putting pressure. You don't have that. You have a choice of muting me on your television. <laughs> These three people don't have a choice of doing that. We take a look at the final scores. I don't see a lot of change in that. Uh, Kushal, 8. Anaga, 6. Good job, you guys. Very, very well done. And Tanmay. Even though in 7th standard, they are, uh, she's 8th and he's 9th, uh, good fight. Very, very good fight. And those 4 games that you won were in 20 seconds of an average time, which is very, very decent. One of the best things that you can do, go back home, log on to numbersb.in, keep practicing. Now that you've qualified for the mega final, I want you to go back and practice as much as you can. Yes. Because you need to get better both with your time and getting them right. Both count. Okay. Yes. So, on behalf of the entire channel and the show, Congratulations on being our episode winner. Thanks. Okay then, it's about time for me to start giving away my certificates and prizes. So I'm going to begin with Tanmay. Very, very good job. Thank you. And a very nice voice too. Keep continuing to sing, keep continuing to practice math. That's your certificate. And Thank this you. is your Fun City vouchers. Go ahead and have fun. Thank you. Good job, Tanmay. Anaga, I... I would have still expected you to have at least tied with him in the last round. I guess didn't happen for you, but very, very good effort. Thank you. Here's your certificate and here are your Fun City vouchers. Good job. Thank you. And finally, Kushal, extremely well done. Thanks. Okay, good confidence. You, you had your back up even when you were uh, bending down to work on the game. Thanks. You had a straight back. Thanks. Shows a lot of confidence. Very good job. Congratulations. Here's your certificate, your Fun City vouchers. And, of course, a Q and q watch for you uh, with best compliments from Shri Shankara TV and Ayush TV. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, then. That's been a wonderful end to another episode. And I promise you three more eclectic personalities in my next episode. Till then, keep waiting because I am Lloyd Saldana signing off. This is Numbers B where we take on math like never before. Keep watching and be back for the next episode.